Williamson County, I'm Carrie Hudson, and welcome to It's About You, an informational program about the classes, activities, and special events of the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Well, as soon as the kids get back into school and football begins, we all know how quickly the calendar fills up. It seems every weekend is reserved for some special program or event, and Williamson County Parks and Recreation wants to be included in your family calendar of fun. Today we'll be talking about two department special events that will be held on Saturday, October the 13th, including our famed Touch a Truck event, as well as a seasonal concert and dance with the Williamson County Community Band. Joining me for the first half of our show today is Darlene Monk. She is a recreation specialist at the Longview Recreation Center at Spring Hill, and she's here to talk about the sixth annual Touch a Truck. Darlene, thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Carrie. Touch a Truck is one of my favorite events. In the history of special events that we offer through the department, it's probably one of the younger events. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds funny saying that when you're getting ready to have your sixth annual event with Touch Truck, but when you consider that some of our programs are in their 20th year, That's right. this one's still a baby to us, mm -hmm. but definitely one of our favorites. Um, for people who might not be familiar though with Touch a Truck, and pretty much the title gives it away, <laughs> tell us what people can expect from this special event. Well, Carrie, this is a free event that Williamson County Parks and Recreation hosts every year. Um, it's, it's a family-oriented event, like you said. Um, what we do is we take the parking lot of Thompson Station Baptist Church and we fill it full of trucks that are very unique and uh, might catch the eye of a young person, a little, a little child, that uh, don't every day get to see these vehicles up close. They get to get in the vehicles, they get to toot the horn, they get to see all the knobs and the, the buttons and everything that make the, makes that vehicle uh, operate. So, so it's kind fun. of a montage of kind of um, like construction, mm -hmm. public service and emergency vehicles, you know, all those big trucks that kids see on the road that, like you said, they don't really get an opportunity to get up close and personal with on uh, very often and we give them the opportunity to sit in the driver's seat, right. turn the wheels, turn on the lights, sound the horns, blow mm -hmm. the whistles, do it all. Mm -hmm. um, and has this event really is just one of the ones that kind of touches your heart. When you see all these little kids out there just in heaven, yes. running from these vehicles, one to another, jumping on this, climbing on that, pointing to this, loving that, mm -hmm. and just really having the best time. Like you said, the look on their faces is just priceless, especially when they get up in the truck and they um, toot an air horn, which is extremely loud, and they get to hear that up close, or um, get in the fire truck and they turn the siren on and the red lights, and, and they're, they're just so amazed. And even the adults, I know myself, the first time I was really up close to a fire engine and they turned on the siren, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. It's something you dream. don't see every day. Right, you know, exactly, so. and having a ball doing it. Well, like you mentioned, we do this in the parking lot um, at the Thompson Station Baptist Church. We have been for the past five years. This is yes. where we've always held this event since its conception in 2007 and truly truly thankful for the support of this congregation I mean none of our and as large parking lots as we have at our mm -hmm. parks and recreation mm -hmm. facilities none of them would be able to house this special event especially when you consider our daily patronage since mm -hmm. most of our facilities are open seven days a week so yes. being able to work with this um, organization and, and using their parking lot has been priceless um, and it also provides ample parking for us because we take up a good amount of the parking lot <laughs> with the activities for touch a truck with all the different vehicles that we bring in and then some of the different entertainment and concession options for the event that we're going to talk about in a few minutes yes. um, so again being able to use this congregation gives us a lot more room for parking and everything else that kind of gets tied into the event as well we're so thankful to thompson station baptist church for offering their parking lot and also their welcome center and just opening up to us to have this event because like you said the parking we had um, such a wonderful response from the the crowd last year the public and we filled up actually seven of the eight parking lots that Thompson 
Station Church has there um, on their grounds. And to be honest, I really don't know anywhere else that we could have it to, to house that many people. Mm -hmm. um, we're just so thankful for the crowd that we had last year. And, and through Thompson Station Church, we were able to accommodate mm -hmm. this free event. So we're Not really to thankful. mention, too, um, Thompson Station Church is fairly easy to find. Mm -hmm. It's off of Columbia Avenue or Highway 31, heading south into the Spring Hill City limits at the intersection of Thompson Station Road. I mean, it kind of stands out. That's right, yes. Um, well, the event, like we said it's coming up Saturday, October 13th, mm -hmm. so in just a couple of weeks. Um, it's a half-day event. It's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and like we said, it is free and open to the public. There is no charge for parking, no charge for admission. Everyone is invited to join us. Uh, cost is incurred for concessions, mm -hmm. but those are at each individual's discretion if they choose to purchase any. Um, and again, just a really, really fun family event. So let's talk a little bit about what specifically you have planned for our event this year. Um, tell us about how many trucks you've got lined up and maybe some of the special kinds of um, trucks that will be there this year. Well, Carrie, this year we have nearly 30 different vehicles, trucks, um, different kinds. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going to be there, so I want it to be a surprise. I mean, exactly. We have That's some part different of the fun. vehicles. We're yeah. just going to say that. Um, and we have ladder trucks, fire engines, um, different kinds of vehicles uh, that the kids can actually get up in and, and see them up close. Um, we also have a, a craft tent that uh, the kids can go to and paint a little wooden car, take it home as a souvenir of the Touch a Truck this year. It is free as well, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, we have going to have a face painting booth there. We have an entertainment stage. Um, we have concession vendors. We have other vendors are going to be there giving away free stuff. Chick-fil-A is going to be there with their food wheel giving away free food. Um, that's always nice to get. And just, um, it's going to be a fun, fun-filled fun day. day. Absolutely. Well, talking about some of the free entertainment that's mm -hmm. associated with Touch Truck, I mean, not only do we have this large parking lot filled with all these unique vehicles that kids can explore, um, but there is a lot of free entertainment that goes on throughout the, the, the day that we're there from 9 to 1. Like you mentioned, we do have the free art and craft tent yes. where kids can paint their own vehicle to take home as a souvenir of the event. Um, we have a couple of uh, free artists, um, a face painter and a balloon artist mm -hmm. um, that come to the event as well. And I know especially with the balloon artist, there's only a certain window that they're going to be actually at the event giving away balloon animals. What's that? That's right. It's uh, from 10.30 a.m. till 12.30 a.m. And it's Parker's Original Entertainment is the ones that's going to be there doing the balloon artist as well as the magic show 30 minutes prior to that. So from 10 to 10.30 they'll performing on the entertainment stage. Yeah. So And then talking about the entertainment mm -hmm. stage, there's obviously a a magician that's yes. going to be performing with Parker Entertainment. What other acts do you have lined up on the entertainment stage that day? Well, we have the Irish dancers from the Tennessee uh, Dance Academy going to come out again this year to perform. And then, of course, we have the magic show from Parker's Entertainment. We have uh, Polynesian dancers that are going to come out and perform. And last year, they um, actually came out and ha did a little uh, show with the fire uh, sticks that they have, so that was very entertaining. Nice. Um, also, the winner of our uh, Battle of the Bands is going to be their clockwork. They're going to be the uh, last performance of the day from 1230 to 1. So, lots of different things for people to look forward mm -hmm. to with this, this event. Um, and then another part of the entertainment back again this year by popular demand, I'm sure. Um, we're also going to be doing trackless train rides yes. provided by D&H Railroad. Mm -hmm. These are a lot of fun for the kids. There is a small cost for this one, but it's just a dollar a ride, That's right? right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so a dollar a ride for the kids to have a trackless train ride, just something else that they can do for the day. It's fun and a little different. That's all right. That's all right. D&H Railroad is kind enough to uh, bring their trackless train out and from what I can understand in order to accommodate the, the line that they had last year, he's going to bring out two this year. Right. So maybe the line will be just a little bit shorter. A little bit so shorter. Come out. Yeah. And take a ride. That's always nice. It is. It is. <laughs> um, and then talking a little bit about the vendors that you are going to have here um, and the different kinds of concession foods. Um, like we mentioned earlier, even though the event is free, cost, mm -hmm. is, cost is incurred for concessions if people choose to purchase them. Um, but you've got some great food vendors lined up with some yummy, yummy treats. Oh, we do, Carrie. Um, that's 
one of my favorite parts of Touch a Truck is the food, of course. Um, we have Ace's kettle corn that's going to come out. We have Mo Better. He's going to be um, out selling hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries, um, food in that area. Um, we also have Bagley's brats and dogs that's going to come out. Uh, he's going to be selling funnel cakes the day of the event, so I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. And we also have Kona Ice coming out to sell his shaved ice Hawaiian products. Uh, and then we have, um, there's one more, I forgot. The and that can one. be a special okay. treat that day. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. Come to Test the Truck to find out who the mystery vendor is. That's right. <laughs> yes. But like you said, just all different kinds of like festival food, right, you know, thing, right, and right. stuff you know your kids are going to love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we try to have a variety to suit everyone's needs uh, for that day. So Tons of fun. Um, other attractions at the event as well. Um, the department puts together a great uh, informational booth so people can visit that and get more information about the Parks and Recreation Department, some of our upcoming programs for the fall, different classes um, for adults, kids, seniors, you name it, we try to do it. That's right. Um, and then you also have um, a uh, raffle tent mm -hmm. where people can register for door prizes. Tell us about some of the things that you'll be giving away that day um, for, um, in your raffle. Well, Carrie, we'll have the motorized vehicle to give away to one lucky child. Because the they all in. need a truck, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> to ride around in after they see all of our trucks. Uh, Captain D's is, uh, we're going to be giving away a $25 gift card to Captain D's, a $25 gift card to Applebee's. Hibbit Sports always fills a big duffel bag full of goodies, and we're going to be giving that away. And just... Um, other things that, that some of our other sponsors have, have donated for the day of the event. So come on out to our so, raffle tent and see what we have to give away. Absolutely. Well, talking about your sponsors, mm -hmm. um, we, we definitely want to recognize the businesses that have stepped up to help us produce this event for the community. Um, you know, every year I'm constantly surprised about the level of interest that we have in Touch a Truck. And it is because it is such a unique, fun event for the entire family. Um, but businesses seem to come out of the woodwork yes. to be involved in this event because it is exceptional and, and so well received. You've got 17 different sponsors and vendors for this year's event. Um, and I don't know any other way to do this than just to go down the list. Okay. <laughs> so to all of these businesses, thank you so much for your support and your help um, in helping yes. us put this, to get, put this event together for the community. Um, we would like to thank McDonald's of Cool Springs, the Children's Academy, Ace's Kettle Corn, Kona Ice, Chick-fil-A, Begley's Brats and Dogs, Logan's Roadhouse, Integrated Healthcare, Sport Clips, Costco, Applebee's, Captain D's, Mo Better Barbecue and Fish, Daryl Waltrip Automotive Group, Hibbit Sports, Fifth Third Bank, Buffalo Wild Wings, um, again, for all of your help and support, we are extremely appreciative um, and thank you again for making events like Touch a Truck possible for our community. I mean, Darlene, you only got 17? <laughs> no, I'm slipping, sorry. Uh, <laughs> You do well. We're all very impressed with it. Um, but again, just a really fun event. Remember Touch a Truck coming up Saturday, October the 13th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the parking lot at Thompson Station Baptist Church. Again, that's located off of Highway 31 or Columbia Avenue at the intersection of Thompson Station Road, just south of Franklin. A wonderful free event for your entire family. Um, and I know that we were talking about this earlier. I can't wait to take Ramsey to this. I know. Yes. Um, I know this year's not going to work out. Um, she she has a date with her with her with her grandparents that day, oh, and mom yes. and dad have a date too. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think next year will be perfect. She'll be yes. two. This will be the perfect event to take mm -hmm. her to. And I'm actually looking. I've seen the joy in other kids' faces, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the joy in mine when yes. we take our first trip to Touch a Truck. Carrie Touch a Truck is such a fun event for kids and parents. Um, I just want to invite everyone to please come out and join us for this free event. Uh, the community just kind of all comes together on this mm -hmm. day. So we're, we just want to invite everybody to come out. To be a part of that. That's right. Yeah. Take well, advantage of this free event. Exactly. Well, Darlene, thank you so much for your time this thank morning. You, and we wish you the best of luck. And thank I'm sure you. we'll be seeing you again to talk about some more of the great events that you're working on for Weems County Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Y'all stay tuned when we come back. We'll be talking about more fall programming with the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. It may come as no surprise 
that when the economy is in decline, fraud is on the rise. You have people who have been successful for the last 10 years, so they got a little something put away. Now, you know, they, they took their expense account, they cut their overtime, so now they're looking to increase their earning potential. Business opportunities can boom in a recession and in a, a downturn of the economy. Nobody in business is going to give you your money back if your business fails. You never saw me in your life. You saw a commercial on TV, you got on the phone with me, you spoke to me for 10 seconds, I gave you some names to call, and I gave you some things to look up, and you called me back three days later, and I, you wrote me a check for $50,000. Does that sound a little screwed up? People want to believe that there is some opportunity that they can invest in that will guarantee that they will have financial success. There is no such thing. There just is no sure deal, none. The best advice I could give to anybody who's looking to purchase a business opportunity or purchase any investment over the phone is fast no's and slow yeses, period, the end. Fast no's and slow yeses. Welcome back to It's About You. We're talking about several of our uh, fall special events today offered by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Joining us for the second half of our show today is Janie Mason. She's also a recreation specialist. She works out of the Franklin Recreation Complex and she is our liaison to the Williamson County Community Band. And she's here today to talk about an upcoming band concert um, that we will be doing in the Fairview community. Janie, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. Well, tell us a little bit about the Williamson County Community Band. They have been in existence for over 10 years um, and I know are well known and well loved by a lot of our citizens here in Williamson County. Um, but because we are a constantly evolving community and people are constantly moving to this area, um, for the people who might not be familiar with the band, tell us a little bit about this organization. Well, our community band um, currently has about 50 members um, and it's completely voluntary, just musicians from any any level, any skill level can come out and join the band. Um, they practice um, at Franklin High School actually, let us use their their band room as our, our practice space and mm -hmm. they play about 12 to 15 concerts a year um, just depending on what year it is. Yep. Um, and really a wonderful group of people who just enjoy music, who love to play, and have a lot of fun with what they're doing. They do. Um, for, the, for the 10 years, I think they're going on 11 this year that the band has been mm -hmm. in existence, they've been under the direction of the same uh, band director, Mr. Ken Krause. That's right. Um, he is the force behind the Williamson County Community Band. He got this group started uh, 10 years ago. He came to the department and said, wow, wouldn't it be great if we could? And we said, well, sure you can, you know? Um, and just kind of helped him form this group. But he, he really is, the papa of the Williams County Community Band and um, organizes this group every year, puts together all of their music for their shows and their performances. Um, talk a little bit though about the kinds of music the band plays. I mean, these are all what people consider, you know, traditional band instruments. There's brass and strings and woodwinds, a little bit of everything. Um, but talk a little bit about what they kind of specialize in. Um, I mean, they are a full concert band, so they play a lot of just general concert music that, would, that you would hear. Um, this year they've played all um, American music, so they've played marches and show tunes and pop tunes and just a little bit of anything that you could think of. You usually hear some some, some Broadway favorites there are in some there. Broadway favorites this um, season. Movie themes, you know, mm -hmm. things that people tend to recognize where you don't always know the name or maybe the composer, but you know the song. Right. That, and the last time that we saw the Williamson County Community Band play was when they did their concert in the park um, at, the, at the Franklin Rec Center. And I am horrible with music. I know no artists or titles or anything like that. But I know if I know a song. Right. Um, and I knew most of the ones they played. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to be able to use that program and link up the names of songs and the, and the people who either wrote them or, or um, professionally performed them with the actual pieces themselves. Right. And of course, my husband, who is like the music guru, was like, you didn't know that? I was like, no, honey, I had no idea. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Um, 
Well, and within the Williamson County Community Band, we also have different um, offshoots and more personal, or I don't want to say more personalized, but more concentrated groups that perform together. Right. They have a jazz ensemble, they have a dance ensemble. The dance ensemble is what will actually be performing at the next concert that the department is doing, which is a special Tunes and Treats concert. Now tell us about that event. That's right. Tunes and Treats is a concert that we try to do each October, um, just kind of to get you in the Halloween mood. Um, and this year we're going to have it at the Fairview Recreation Complex. Um, it's a change of venue from last year, but this year it will be at Fairview. And it is our dance band ensemble. And they are a group of about 20 musicians that have really put a lot of work into forming their own big band. Um, they play mostly just big band music, swing music from the 30s and 40s, 50s, um, and they are really good. So I hope everyone will come out. And they're really fun. I mean, I think just in and of itself, the type of music they play is fun. But like you said, these are some very accomplished musicians who love what they do, bring a lot of energy to it. I mean, it's a voluntary band. You have to it love is. it to do it. it is. Um, and really put on a great show that is fun for everybody. Um, what I love about Tunes and Treats, though, is that while people are always welcome to dance at any Williamson County Community Band performance, this is where you see the moves. That's right. People come out to this stuff and really put on a show. And I mean, it's traditional styles of dance that, you know, maybe people in my generation just didn't grow up with, but it's so cool to actually see. And we get some of those couples out there that know all the moves and the turns and swings and love watching it. So much fun. It is fun. It is. Lots of different stuff. Um, and then like you said, this year we're actually changing things up a little bit and taking this Tunes and Treats concert to the Fairview Recreation Complex, which I think is well deserved. You know, the community band plays throughout Williamson County um, on, on a year-round basis, but you know, they had a concert in Brentwood this year at the Brentwood Library. Um, they uh, have had a concert in Spring Hill. Um, they had one at the Longview Recreation Center. Then they have one coming up at the Thompson Station Park there um, in Thompson Station. Mm -hmm. So it only we performed in Franklin at different community events in Franklin, um, as well as the concert at the Franklin Rec Center. So it's about time they went out to Fairview. I love it. Um, and then like you and I were talking about earlier, they're going to be performing in the gymnasium at the Fairview Rec Center, right. which is the perfect location for them. Um, the, the Fairview Recreation Center, for people who may not have visited it, is a converted high school, but it has a wonderful gymnasium with a full stage in it, which is going to be perfect for the band to set up on. And then we have the whole, you know, hardwood gymnasium floor, floor mm -hmm. for everyone to dance on. I mean. There's been times where we've, de where we've done these Tunes and Treats concerts in the past that we've had to bring a dance floor in. That's right. The whole Fairview Rec Gym is the dance floor. It's open and ready. <laughs> it's right. That's right. It just makes for that much better of an event. I think the location matches ideally with what the concert is about. and It will just be a wonderful, fun evening for everyone involved. Um, this Tunes and Treats concert is coming up on Saturday, October the 13th. Um, it is a nighttime event. It is from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, again, it is open to the community. One different thing about this, though, compared to other community band concerts, um, is that there is a small fee to participate. Typically, we try to keep our community band concerts free and open to the public so that everyone can enjoy them. But with the um, style of this event and the fact that we do provide treats, there are concessions involved, um, we do need advanced registration and a small participation fee just to offset the cost of some of the supplies that go into the event. Right. Um, so tell us real quick about um, the uh, cost of this program um, as well as how people can register for it. It's five dollars a person which is a small price to pay to see this band because they are phenomenal. They're really good um, and to register for it they would need to call the Franklin Re I'm sorry, they need to call the Fairview Recreation Complex. Did you see you're so used I to did. talking about Franklin in I conjunction am. with the community <laughs> band. Yeah. So they need to call Fairview and that number is 799-9331. Um, and they can call register there and take care of the payment there and get all squared to go. away mm -hmm. for a fun, fun night. Um, and this is an event, I should say, this is an event that um, is, is basically designed for adults 
um, and seniors as well. It's a great, great thing for seniors to do. Really, you know, the time frame and the style of music might not make it entirely kid friendly right. like most of the other concerts. But again, like we were saying earlier, this is a little bit different. It's a little step up. Um, and then we were talking earlier about the atmosphere with the dance band. I mean, they have some special music stands and fronts that they use. You really get that kind of full-fledged dance band kind of, it's probably not the right terminology, but it's what I think of. It's like the Lawrence Welk, you know? Yeah. They, they I mean, play um, some very, like Glenn Miller Orchestra. They are, very, they are a big band. Mm -hmm. Swing music, it's, it's great. It's great, and a lot of fun. The, the band dresses up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just really a fun night for everyone involved. Um, and uh, like I was saying earlier, just seeing some of the people having the most fun. I mean, they come out dressed up with their dancing shoes on, hit the mm -hmm. floor, and like I said, they, they make me jealous. I love watching these couples cut a rug. They have a great, great time. Um, we'll say too also that uh, singles and couples are welcomed for this event. That's right. Um, so, you know, feel free to come on your own. You'll make friends when you get there or get a group of your friends together um, to come to the Tunes and Treats concert at the Fairview Recreation Complex. Um, again, advanced, advanced registration is required. Uh, you can register for the event by contacting the Fairview Recreation Complex at 799-9331. If you would like more information about the Williamson County Community Band in general, though, you can contact Janie for that. Uh, you can reach her at the Franklin Rec Center at 790-5719, extension 30. You can also get um, a full history of the Williamson County Community Band as well as a copy of their performance schedule by visiting our website at www.wcparksandrec.com. Click on the Programs tab and then follow the directory to the Williamson County Community Band. Really, again, wonderful organization. So happy to have them a part of our department. They really do round out our arts program. Definitely a lot of fun. All right, well, in wrapping up today, we want to remind you about both of the special events that Williamson County Parks and Recreation will be conducting on Saturday, October the 13th. First off, we have our sixth annual Touch a Truck event from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. held in the parking lot of the Thompson Station Baptist Church, which is at the intersection of Columbia Avenue and Thompson Station Road. Join us for a fun-filled morning. Uh, kids have the opportunity to explore th up to 30 different kinds of large construction and public service vehicles. You know, just those everyday, or just, excuse me, those types of things you don't see on an everyday basis. And kids can climb up in them, sit in the driver's seat, turn the steering wheel, turn on the lights, the sirens, blow the whistles, sound the bells. Fun, fun event for the entire family. In conjunction with all the special trucks that we'll have on site for Touch a Truck, we also have a lot of free entertainment for the family, um, including a free arts and crafts tent, a community performance stage, and also face painting and balloon artists. Uh, again, this event is free, open to the public, no cost for admission or parking. The cost is incurred for concessions, and we have some wonderful concessionaires that will be joining us for that day's event. More information is also available um, about Touch a Truck by visiting our website, again at wcparksandrec.com. And then later that night, from 7 to 9 p.m., we have the Williamson County Community Band's Tunes and Treats concert with our dance ensemble uh, that will be held at the Fairview Recreation Complex. A fun night for adults and seniors. Come dance the night away at this annual event. Um, a wonderful evening filled with great music, a lot of fun, and some great refreshments as well. Cost for the Tunes and Treats concert is only $5 per participant. Singles and couples are welcome. And uh, to register for the event, you need to contact the Fairview Recreation Complex at 799-9331. If you would like more information about any of these programs or other types of classes and special events offered by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department, you can pick up a free monthly newsletter at any of our recreation facilities 
or again, go online and visit our website at wcparksandrec.com. You can either download your own copy of our monthly newsletter or search through the pages for additional information about all of our programs. Around this time of year, we have a lot of different activities going on, some great special events like what we talked about today, but there is also an ongoing array of general programming classes, health and wellness and group fitness programs, sport leagues for youth and adults, all different kinds of opportunities for people to participate in a variety of recreation and leisure activities. We hope to see you at one of our Parks and Recreation Centers soon and hope that you'll enjoy us for some of our fall fun. It's been good to have you for the show today. Y'all stay tuned. Until next time, remember Williamson County, it's all about you.